Hey guys, it's T from Driftwood Gaming and I'm here with another Effect Seeker tutorial for you. This is chapter 4 in the documentation as is found on the website. Today we're going to figure out how to rotate some boxes and then we're going to scale it, make it bigger, and turn it into a rectangle. Yay! So let's start with rotation. We're going to open rotation and click the node that our box is in so we can change it. And we don't want to use fixed angles so we're going to change this to PVA and we're going to change the angular velocity z-axis to 5. Whoa, hey, I just changed it to 5. Why isn't it rotating? What's going on? Ha ah, ha ha, you have to change another setting before you can rotate your particle. So we're going to go over to render settings and change the configuration here, which says billboard, to rotated billboard. And as you can see, now it's rotating. It doesn't have a very long life, so it doesn't really get around in a circle. But it's, I, here, I'll show you, I assure you, it's rotating. There we go. Ha ha. All right, we're going to take this back down to 30. And the next thing we're going to do is expand our little particle box thingy. So we're going to change this from fixed scale as well to PVA. And our expansion, oh no, actually, I'm wrong. It's not PVA. There's something really cool built into the software where you notice how you have to put in a bunch of numbers here to change stuff lots of entries. You can choose PVA single if all your entries are going to be the same, which for expansion generally all your numbers will be the same. So this will be something you'll use more than PVA. We're just going to expand this by 0.03. Yeah, now we see that it's growing a little bit. Actually we're going to put it back to 0.01 because that's what the tutorial says. We're going to stick with the tutorial today. And then the next thing we're going to do is make it more like a rectangle. So I believe we go back in here, right? And we're going to go under vertex coordinates. So we could take this square particle and stretch it out and make it look more like a rectangle. And to do this, we're going to change the settings on the Y axis only. So we're going to change these to 3.5. And as I'm doing it, you'll see how it's stretching it out. It's like four different quadrants and it's going to stretch it out when I'm done changing all these numbers. Yay, now we have a rectangle, how pretty. Okay, so we're gonna just gussy it up a little bit with a couple of other settings that the documentation goes over. We go into basic settings, we're gonna add 10 of these buttes. We're gonna go to the basic render settings and pick a image. We're gonna choose particle four. I use particle four a lot. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is go to the rotation window and change the angle, uh, rotation window please, change the angle deviation to 180 in the z-axis. In the scale window, we're gonna change the scaling factor to zero. So they're not quite so big. And the last thing that we're gonna do is change the deviation, the position deviation to two. That way, they don't all spawn in the same spot. And there we go. We got a pretty little effect that shows up in the documentation, so that's the end of this chapter, actually. Uh, I hope you were able to learn something and you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please definitely click the like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell. I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial. Next is chapter five. Bye!